I think we're going Poppy. And buffing all this stuff up. Poppy Elite! And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poppy Elites. That's right, we are going to be taking a deck that is basically um, just an old deck, old Elites, Mono Demacia, everything's Demacia, and we're going to be adding in the newest Demacia-ish champion with Poppy. Poppy is both Demacia and Bandle City, so it does count for Demacia. 4 mana, 4 3, attack, grant me and all allies with equal or less power than me, plus 1, plus 1. So that's going to be able to add up with Vanguard Bannerman. So we'll have Bannerman and Poppy together, granting all the allies, plus 1, plus 1. And then basically just playing a whole lot of elites. You know, we'll have our Vanguard Squires be able to uh, have that cost reduction so we can kind of double spell in the, in the mid game, playing like Squire and Poppy the same round. But nothing else is really new in here. Uh, just kind of poppy. And so this was a donation deck submitted by a viewer. They said that they this deck was like an elite deck that they had played before, that they had six mana Scythria in this deck, like in the six mana slot. And basically just took out Scythria, reduced the cost by two to make it four mana, and playing poppy instead. You know, just just kind of changing that up. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of like the only change that we're going to make. We do have a whole lot of fours in here now, with Bannerman and Silverwing and Poppy, but we don't really have other things higher than Garen, and so you know we can play these on like round four, round six, round seven, all that kind of stuff. So let's give it a try. Let's see how we do with Poppy Elites. This should be pretty, um, pretty exciting to tr go ahead and try out an old deck with a new champion. Aurelia Azir. Speaking of old decks, we got this classic that's been nerfed 87 times. And is still very good. Makes you wonder what they were doing to begin with. All right, so we're just going to send these all back. So we need units. We want some blockers. Vanguard Defender is really nice in this matchup, having the tough. So we can just sit sit there and block some Sand Soldiers. <laughs> Nerfed and still excellent. That sounds like a good autobiography. <laughs> I legit got beat by the AI using Aurelia Azir. Yeah, I noticed they, they put in Aurelia Azir deck in for the AI. They'll never see us coming. They'll never see us coming. Well, what if we had some some way to see? Maybe like some sight that was pretty sharp. Maybe then we could see that Green Glade duo coming. Where they fall. Freedom grows. Hold up. Wow. Yeah, they don't want me to have these tough blockers, I guess. No. That makes sense. Poppy! Sharima's legacy will endure. We Ionians always remember those who came before us. Alright, so I'm playing this Vanguard. The dogs love barking out at the... I have one of my neighbors in the back, they're doing a lot of yard work right now, so they've had people, workers there for the last week or two, and so they love barking at them. Okay, so I have the ability to either kill... I can kill one of these two. And I'm going to take the extra four damage and try to kill... Should, I'm going to kill Aurelia. Like, Aurelia is just much better than the duo. We can block the duo next round with the sharp sight. We can challenge the duo here. So it's an extra four damage, but getting Aurelia out of here is very important. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Do we want to go uh, Poppy or Garen? Or just simply attack? I think we're going Poppy. And buffing all this stuff up. Just like we practiced. 
Baron Poppy Steel. Elite. Yeah, I've got to showcase that Poppy. Being repeatable, Vanguard, Veneman. Oh, that's not so great. Having two of those. Yeah, two of those is not so great. Are they both going to be 10 power? That would be absurd, right? They're not both going to be 10 power, are they? I don't know, maybe. Well, we can block one. Quick hands make quick work. So they only have one card we don't know about. Okay, three tough, three tough. Four, two. All right, still alive for a little bit. I kind of want to play this Vanguard Redeemer. Yeah, I am. I want to draw. All right, awesome. That'll do. Poppy Elites beating Aurelia Azir. That 2-2 tough was very important. Sejuani Swain. I guess... Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep these two. For the Fallen. When you summon elite, reduce my cost by one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep these two. We'll keep for the Fallen. Alright, that Tattered Banner is gonna be useful. Oh, why didn't I attack? I'm sorry. In hot. I'm sorry. I should have attacked with them. It's dangerous out there. Take this. But the Mafia soldier is worth ten foes. So that's a, technically the first. Um, I'm sorry, we got yard work going on right next door. Very loud yard work. So I'm going with the Bannerman here before the Poppy. I'm going with like this, then Bannerman before Poppy because I don't want to like play Poppy and then they kill Poppy and then I don't get the plus one plus ones. I want to make sure to get the, all these plus one plus ones immediately. Oh, double ice shard. Well, that's too bad. That would have been a pretty decent time for for the fallen. Bow to no one. If I didn't forge it, you gotta believe me. Okay, so they're just challenging right there. And I can just let that happen, I suppose. Where are we at here? That's this, this is about to be three out of five. That's not great. I guess I, I guess this is worth it. 
puppy. I know they're very loud and scary. And I'm sorry. Discipline and steal. So considering we were already going to have a 3-1 die either way, I basically just spent two mana to kill their 3-1. Around here somewhere. So now this works with us being able to attack with this poppy, hopefully buff all this stuff up, things die, then we go for the fallen afterwards. No. Yeah, so that's one thing they'll die. I got just the thing for you. Or alternatively, I could just play this Vanguard Redeemer first. And draw another one. Up there in the mountains. Don't make them for the show. Prove your worth. So they can't just block the battlesmith because then that would be taking lethal. So that's them going down to two. So we just gotta figure out how to do, get two more points of damage across. Maybe they can play two ice shards. Relentless pursuit. That card's not bad. We got a lot of good stuff set up here. Yeah, yeah, you've not seen Poppy level up before? Like, yeah. That does seem very difficult to level up Poppy. I agree. Alright, they're just passing to me. I think I'm just going to take the pass. I've got just the thing for you. Show them our teeth. Alright, so open attack. The old sharp, sharp sight trick, that'll do. I know that that could still get Scorched Earth, but I still went there because obviously like a Scorched Earth doesn't really matter with us having Rally and everything. Still went there so I could keep the Battlesmith in play. Oh, Darkness Control. All right, are we going to be able to outlast the Darkness with Demacia? We got another For the Fallen. I kind of like this hand, but maybe, maybe For the Fallen's not that good. Like, you want to keep For the Fallen in your opener because you want it to continue the cost reduction. Yeah, just let it. I think I'll just let it go. I want to keep Garen, though. Garen's pretty awesome. Ready for deployment. Yeah, that's, that's true. We need Lucian to hold back the darkness. Taste. So Lucian's trying to hold back the darkness, yet Senna is like... All about unleashing the darkness. I think For the Fallen should be like an anywhere type card. Right, like a. You know, like reduce. Like if you. Whenever you summon an elite, reduce my cost. But like anywhere, not just necessarily. No, I'll take three. Not just it has to be in your hand and see you play the, like, summon the elites. But it's not like that, that good of a card. Senna embraced the darkness to defeat it. Okay, so my plan, of course, was Vanguard Redeemer, but I could go Sharp Sight plus Single Combat to kill Vagar. Is that worth both of those? I kind of think so. The Lightning Bolt means it does something. Like, when there's a Lightning Bolt on the card, it means it has some kind of effect for just being in play. Heart and sword for 
Obviously they want me to block with um, Garen and then shoot Garen with darkness. This call is pretty interesting. What's that noise? It's pretty interesting. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. All right, so that gets darkness out of their hand. My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Only victory. We will not hesitate. You have to get me out of here. I'm not incredibly confident that this will work out well for us. Darkness now does four damage. So I assume they can make it a lot more darkness. Each one does four damage, and Stay resolute. you know, just continually creating a three mana deal four damage spell. Probably not going to work out well for us. You could say I got a life wish. Yep, probably not going to work out well for us. A uh, champion Senna in Shadow Isles. Champion Senna got corrupted. By Thresh, I guess. For the Mafia soldier is worth ten foes. Kept the, I don't know why they don't attack with Senna also, even though they wouldn't create one, but there's no reason not to attack. I mean, I guess scared of what barrier? Yeah, so now they both will work with Lucian's level up. Play Poppy this round, she dies. Gets the darkness out of their hand. Wait around while we'll have eight mana for no. Okay. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Today's the day I find that hero. Make All right, good. I am hoping they cannot kill Garen. Glory unrelenting. So I'm going to be playing for the Fallen. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Can we see the mana? Your, so your amount of mana is over here. My opponent has four regular unit mana. I have three spell mana. Like this this little bit over here, these are spell manas. Wow, they hit Wraithcaller? Wow, that's lucky. Because they, they could have hit Spiderling, Mistwraith, Mistwraith, or Wraith Caller. Wraith Caller obviously being the very best out of all of those, and they hit that 25% chance. So we also have the attack token now. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. So that is fast speed because of the Senna. You can shoot down one soldier now. Choosing not to. Choosing to keep it. What does it do? 40, 40 damage? So that doesn't pair with any of these to kill Garen. I'm surprised they didn't use that darkness right there to take down a, a would-be 6-6. Six -six. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over here. Is that like a go-hard also? Darkness and light. There's the deal four. I will hold the line. Life is cyclical. Darkness and They gotta have a one mana deal one, right? I I sure hope not. I think I'm gonna attack with Garen still. Force him to have it. What are you made of? 
This is not a good block. It's about the worst block you can make, but alright. Yeah, I don't think they, they played that last turn correctly, but we'll take it. There we go, 3-0 with Poppy Elite. We got Darkness Control yet again. Can we... We're 2-0 two, two no against Darkness. But that one worked out fairly well for us. I didn't expect it to work out that well. Oh, that's that's the the thrashy mode. He's just showing you the way into the lantern. That card is so good. Getting that extra damage on that darkness is clutch. I was hoping they were going to be able to attack. Like, the sergeant last round would have been good. I was hoping they were going to attack and trade, and then we play the redeemer. Two pokey sticks. that play of like summoning Senna when you already have the darkness so you don't get to create another darkness for justice, for Demacia. I should have played this tattered banner I was thinking of like having bull sharp sight single combat available I probably should have played that tattered banner yeah it's predictable I don't think it's gonna do five damage now Level up. So future Garens will be leveled up. We must not relent. Second time's worse. Demacia will prevail. One candle for every soul. Alright, well, they, they got me this time. Alright, they got me that time. I'm not expecting us to be amazing against darkness control all the time, so... I wasn't expecting us to win three in a row against it. That was going to be pretty tough. A few too many cards that didn't do very much. All right, now Gangplank said one e. All right, I'm gonna keep Poppy. Like Vanguard Squire again is a good card to keep. It's a, that's a good card to have, but we need earlier. Yeah, so like we need like these kind of things also. Nothing like the stink of blood. Because otherwise we'll get ran over by Gangplank said one e. Did we already face Gangplank Sejuani also? What was- we played a Sejuani deck already. No, it was Teemo Sejuani, right? We did play a Sejuani deck already. So we played three. Three- three Darkness Control and two Sejuani. It was Sejuani Swain, that's right, there you go. That's what it was. Sejuani Swain. 
So if I play Poppy, I have to attack with Poppy to get the plus one plus ones. Or I can play Bannerman and we get the plus one plus ones automatically. I think I play Poppy. A, we have another Poppy just in case. But B, like we can play like the Bannerman on their, like whenever they have the attack token. I guess, let's see. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. I'm attacking. I guess Bannerman would have got the Battlesmith buff. You made choices. Boys. Cool. No Mega Rain. Or Parlay. At least not yet. He's going to be doing excess damage to me anyway. I hope they stole a For the Fallen. <laughs> I hope that's what they stole. Uh, Harpoon. So six mana the next round. Not the best for all these different cards. Oh, they took a Sergeant? That card is great. Sergeant's actually pretty great. That was a good draw for us. I like this Tatter Banner. Garen combo. Could also go Tatter Banner Poppy. So then I get to attack Poppy and buff everything up. That's actually probably the better play. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. Captain. We must all do our duty. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Ready, Hammer? I've got just the thing for you. I mustn't stop. Crying won't do any good. Because <laughs> if I play like another Bannerman and stuff before the Poppy, then the Poppy won't be large enough to buff up other units. So I kind of have to play the Poppy there to get the, the Poppy large enough to buff up the other units. Bow oh. to no one. They also don't have to have all their champions all the time. They're not required to always have champions. Oh, I've played two champions and have two in my hand, but I still want to complain. <laughs> Bristle, attack. This obviously is the big problem, is the leveled up Sejuani. That, can, that gets to Frostbite. That's what is the largest problem. Cirque asked an interesting question. Do you think we'll ever get more allegiance cards for the regions? And that was just that's something that I haven't even thought of as a possibility. But I I suppose that is a possibility. Getting like you know maybe a different mana cost. You know like they all have a four mana allegiance card. Maybe getting a different mana cost allegiance card. That could be interesting. Yeah, that that's a possibility I hadn't really thought of. Looks like Ice Shard. Wow. They got that Mega Rain to hit the Nexus. To save their Sejuani. Now they just created another warning shot. What a life. What a life. For the glory of Demacia. I'm not greedy. Okay. So we can't ever do any damage anymore with leveled up Sejuani, multiple warning shots. Sejuani just can dominate. If, if you get Sejuani leveled up in this kind of matchup, 
they just got really lucky with that make it rain, right? Like that make it rain had a, I don't know, 50% chance or less than 50% chance of hitting my Nexus and they got lucky and it did. All right, so anyway, that's gonna be Poppy Elite. Pretty cool little deck here, you know, started off strong. Um, you know, like it's just a good old Elite deck. Is it gonna be one of the best decks in the format? No, but you got a lot of synergy, you put a lot of pressure on the opponent and you basically force your opponent to have the correct answers to be able to win the game. You know, you force them to have a good Darkness Hand or you force them to have the leveled up Sejuani, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's what it, that's what elites do. You know, it's just play, play your units attack. You know, you kind of put, you're the one asking the questions, force your opponents to have those answers. Poppy looks pretty good. You know, just more ways to buff up your units with Poppy and Bannerman. Looks pretty good together. All right, but anyway, that's gonna be it here though for Poppy elites. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, Hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know what you think of the elites and with Poppy, or if you got other ideas that you're playing with Poppy, feel free to put those in the chat as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.